All right, I'm going to have a go with the Guardian's cryptic crossword for Monday, May 6th. It is set today by Vulcan. Let's see what Vulcan has in store. Quality of ladies, very ordinary. Well, knowing the Guardian, I think ladies is going to be some bathroom humor, so something to do with a toilet, quality of a toilet. Very ordinary. No, nope, not seeing it. Let's try the downs. Neurologist throws out crisp banalities. It's 15 letters. Could it be an anagram? It could. Crisp banalities is 5 and 10 itself. What is a... Oh, I wonder if it could be a something specialist. If that is specialist, what are the letters left over we have another a and a b um yeah not seeing it um brain i suppose brain yep yeah, yeah we need to use the r i think that's going to be it i'd be very surprised if it wasn't now our quality of ladies very ordinary begins with a oh well the toilet the bathroom can be the bog and there is a phrase bog standard meaning very ordinary um i'm not sure the derivation of that does it come from bog for toilet or bog from a boggy piece of land i'll have to look that up anyway exhilaration of oxygen after sudden wind, well, the G is very helpful. A sudden wind is a gust, and then the O for oxygen gives us gusto. Jonathan Richman has a song, is it I eat my beans with gusto? Damn it, I think. <laughs> All right. It's awfully hard to hide a navy stain. Hmm. Could it mean it's awfully hard? Could it be something like titanium or... Um, but then to hide a navy... Oh, maybe a word for awfully hard has RN inside it. Maybe even ARN for a Royal Navy. And it's going to mean either the noun stain or the verb stain. Uh, oh, tarnish. Hmm. Ah, yes. So uh, this is uh, one of those where they, oops, I don't know why I'm, uh, I think I was doing the word play in my head. Um, it's awfully means an anagram of it's, and then hard is H, and that tish hides a Royal Navy. All right. Figure almost dead, a long time left. I'm not sure which end is the definition. Um, I'm thinking figure might be the definition. Almost dead might be a word for dead that doesn't quite finish. And then a long time, something like eon. Our age, uh, followed by L for left. Uh, we'll see if 14 across could be something H, something L. I think it could, but let's go on. Like member of family to be a support. I wonder if it could mean like something like similar or Ah, there are some words beginning with a um, member of family, aunt, um, to be a support. Nope. Curtail activities, but complete self-portrait as a devil. Uh, down in something 
done done in something in your maybe self portrait maybe your something or the nick of something old nick uh no let's try he roars uncontrollably becoming this well i think it's got to be an anagram of he roars um let's see what well, we are using the last three Oh, I wonder if it could be hoarser. You become hoarser after roaring. All right. Uh, I give black marks for going on the lash. I always thought going on the lash was an Irish uh, slang expression for going out drinking. But maybe it's known or used in Britain, going on the lash. Of course, it might be something to do with whipping, leaving marks, I give black. No, not seeing it. Uh, roughly, ignore old, punter. So I presume it's going to be an anagram of ignore old, and it's going to mean a punter. Now, is that a gambler? Oh, I do see we have gondolier, of course, so it's a, a different kind of punting, punting a boat. All right, let's try a seven down. Such a forced wedding, heartless for Japanese ruler. Well, Japanese ruler surely is shogun. Ah, uh, yes, and a forced wedding can be a shotgun wedding and you take away its middle letter to make it heartless. All right. Exercise unavailable, definitely not. Ah, okay, so it is a charade of no, oops, uh, no PE, meaning exercise unavailable, and definitely not is nope. Oh, I skipped over throne. Vulcan takes refuge in hut. Well, Vulcan could be referring to himself as I. So I think we're going to put I inside a word for a hut and get thrown. So it's a short word for a hut. Well, shed. And with the I, it becomes shied, uh, which is a word for having thrown something. All right, how about those downs figure almost dead a long time left? Figure can be a verb too, of course, uh, but not seeing it. And here are like a like member of family. No, and this, I presume it's going to be in it. Or is as the second word. Complete self portrait as a devil. Oh, I'm sure I know this phrase, but, um, and it means curtail activities. Nope, not seeing it. Uh, cyclone had disturbed rock. Oh, yeah, this one I thought might have an L here, but I presume it's going to be Cyclone had anagrammed. Let's try Cyclone had. Now, is it going to be a geological rock or rock music? Oh, where's that Y going to go? And is it going to begin with CH? No, I think there might be some scientific word for type of rock. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing it. I have a feeling it's going to be an obscure enough word, but maybe not. But uh, let's go on. Um, I'll be round in a minute. 
or it could be minute coming soon no not seeing it uh 60 seconds could be a minute let's see i went first coming round to shop I think it might mean um, shop. Yeah, um, I went first could be the first letter of went a W. Although I don't like I and W together. Coming round to shop. No, can I think of a short word for a shop? Of course, shop can also mean to tell on somebody. Um, no. A single short song going out to listeners. Well, going out to listeners sounds like an, a homophone. But is it a homophone of going out? Or a song going out to listeners? A single and something uh, an air something air could be a song no don't see it uh, this ahead for person taking over unlikely I think it's going to mean unlikely. But the question mark, is it simply for the surface or is it saying this ahead, maybe something that goes on the head of a person taking over like a crown? But unlikely. No, nope. hurting dad almost completely. Well, I can think of a word for hurting painful. Ah, yes. So it's pa is father and completely would be in full. So this is almost completely. All right, that I was useful. Um, let's go back to the downs. After a, sh after a time, children's author becoming vulgar. I think vulgar is going to be the definition. Who is the children's author? Roald Dahl, Enid Blyton. After a time. So it may start with a T, a time. And then we have our children's author. And it means becoming vulgar or vulgar. No. No, don't see it. Charge through the gate. Oh. Oh, I think this is a um, cryptic definition, punning definition. Uh, the charge of money that is made when you go through the gate could be an entry fee. I think that's right. Oh, and I think this one is also just a uh, punning cryptic definition. There's no wordplay involved in it. I'll be round in a minute. Well, the second hand uh, comes back around every minute. All right, rather watery, prune, mole, eats. Um, I'm not sure of this. Rather watery, I think, might be the definition. Prune, prune can mean to remove some of the letters, like of mole, eats. But 
with that S, I don't think we can go backwards from the S now. I'm wondering if it could be sloppy. Ah, it is sloppy. So to prune something can be to lop it. I remember we had a tool for gardening we called the loppers. Um, maybe other people call it loppers as well. Anyway, and that is inside of spy, who could be a mole. And sloppy could mean watery. All right. Oh, going out to listeners, I think is on air. Yes. And yes, I think that's the definition now. Uh, air, I think, is the song. Oh, a single is one. But it is short, so it just becomes on. Yeah, I see that. All right, character is a moronic sort. Well, could it be an anagram of moronic? The other thing that's confusing me is that A, because character is moronic sort, would do the same thing. They shouldn't have superfluous words. But I can't think of a, an anagram of moronic. So maybe it's a something for moronic, and then sort could be type or kind. No. They were cut out for war. Uh, could it be the something? They were cut out. Maybe it's the name of a war. The uh, hundred years, the something. No, not saying it. All right, how about Henry Shoe Repairer Not Opening for one with a limp. All right, well, a shoe repairer could be a cobbler, but without its opening, it's an obbler. And therefore, Henry must simply be H, I suppose, as in uh, HR would have been Henry Rex. And somebody walking with a limp could be a hobbler. That does give us a nice B. Now it looks like this one is missing the little vertical line to divide the six from the three. This ahead, unlikely, blue moon, um, person taking over. If it's something on a head, bonnet something, barnet, um, unlikely. No, not saying it. Now our cutout for war is these something. They were cut out for war. No, not saying it. How about a different satellite? It's the same one each time. Oh, I think this is another punning definition. Vulcan is in a very jokey mood today. I think it's a new moon. We say a new moon, but it is the same one every time. Ah. Could this be bowler hat? This ahead. I, yeah, I have it in my mind. The question mark is indicating it's something that goes on your head, but um, are bowled out. Person taking over. Yeah, maybe it is a cricket reference. Bowler. Yeah, so. 23 down would begin with an E. Does she check and improve husband? Does she check? Wow. Um, I have no idea. 
idea what that could be. Other than husband is often H, so maybe it's a word for improve followed by Uh, I wonder if it could be the girl's name, Edith. Edit can be check and improve something. And then husband. It's, um, so is that four clues so far where there's no, well, I suppose there is wordplay there, but it's, it's an and lit. Well, it's not an and lit, sorry, no, but it's, it's just, does she, I don't know, it's a, bit loose, I think. Anyway, so what is this? So, what is 20 down? The aim of camping. Uh, so, another punning one, intent. Well, I suppose this one is a double. The aim is your intent, and if you're camping, you're in a tent. So now I, oh, of course, it could still be out our hat. Let's look again at the uh, self-portrait as a devil. That could be the last five-letter word could begin with an H or an O. Hmm. Your tail activity is a complete self-portrait as a devil. No. Ooh, 25 is looking good. Character. Oh, it could be an anagram of moronic. Let's try it. Oh, Omicron. Omicron. Uh, yes, I remember all the discussions about, there it is, of how that should be pronounced as a variant of that... Uh, event we had a few years ago. Um, I think it is Omicron, but feel free to disagree in the comments. All right. Ah, uh, yes, the trenches, I think. Yes, yeah, so here is definitely just a punning definition. They were cut out for war, the trenches. All right, so now... Is that going to end in a plural curtail activities, but complete self-portrait curtail activities, something, oh yeah, H-R-O, I'm thinking, oh, um, something the horns, yeah, I like that. What is a, a phrase? I know there's a phrase about cuckolding that's something about horns, but it's not that. Um, oh, what is a phrase for curtail? Oh, you do um, draw in your horns. Yes, I have heard that. Oh. Now, one thing I've, I remember, actually, when I first started doing crosswords back when I was a teenager, cryptic crosswords, um, I had a book of the Sunday Times crosswords, I remember, and a mistake I kept making was when it would be a phrase like this with four letters, I would always say, draw in your horns, and then come to find out it's actually one's horns. So I still remember that lesson from low these many years ago and so i will uh will pause a moment ah uh, so ah uh, yes so if i went first i led and that comes backwards for delhi and therefore it is ones okay i think we've had a very similar clue for delhi before, so I probably should have got that one sooner. All right, but making good progress. It is Monday, and it is supposed to be a little easier, I think. Where can I go? Let's try 14. 
Now this is the Cyclone Head Anagram. Oh my goodness. Um, I'm going to pause and uh, see if I can work it out on paper. Well, in the end, I had to resort to wordplays.com um, because I do not think I would have worked out this anagram at something called Chalcedony, uh, which is a type of quartz, I think. So I would never have got that. All right. Uh, becoming vulgar. Can I think of a word for... Well, maybe after a time, it could be an adverb. Children's author becoming vulgar. Yeah, not, uh, let me pause and think about that one. No, I'm not finding any word of course this t i just put in um i'm not sure oh yeah because i thought it might be after a time um yeah let me pause and try that the only word i'm thinking that could might i could might <laughs> uh mean vulgar is tawdry um but i don't see well other than t is time we do have a rye, uh, but uh, around D, but is, it, is there a children's author, Audrey, A-W-D-R-Y? Uh, it would mean 10 across would end A something A. I'm wondering if it could be um, a disease that gives black marks. But I'm uh, not sure. All right, we're almost at the 30 minute mark so i will check tawdry it is correct all right sorry to see that all right how about four down uh, natural would fit figure almost dead oh a long time could be an era and then left is L. Figure almost dead. No, a long time left. Oh, a figure could be a numeral. Ah, I suppose uh, dead in this sense is numb, uh, but it's missing the B, so it's almost numb. And then ear and L. All right. Then what is this? Um, I give black marks for going on the lash. <laughs> no, uh, not malaria, but no, not seeing it. Uh, let's try our like member of family to be a support. Oh, like could be as, as member of family. And maybe then it's going to mean be a support. Let me pause and think about it. Ah, uh, yeah, I think the member of the family then is sister. And you get this to be a support is an a sister. Now, I don't know who says a sister instead of assistant. Well, this maybe assistant has a slightly different meaning, but I don't think I've ever come across the word a sister. Let's check it. It is correct. Oh, we have yet another uh, punning definition with no wordplay. Uh, I think one or two of these types of clues are good to kind of keep us on our toes, but I think too many uh, is too many. <laughs> um, yeah, and you know, we all have our preferences. Maybe some of you love these ones because you don't have to bother with the wordplay. You just have to think black marks for going on the lash could be going on the eyelash and mascara. All right, let's check all. 
Oh, I misspelled. Oh, I think when I typed in gondolier, I overwrote my gusto. Uh, all right. All right. I don't think there are any. I, were there any I said I didn't understand? Maybe one or two. So let's head over to 15 squared. All right. Uh, today's blog is by Andrew. Oh, it's a bank holiday in Britain. Sees Vulcan make his regular fortnightly appearance. Quite a few cryptic definitions. So Andrew, note of that in one technical word. I presume that was the quartz. There were, of course, two I didn't understand. One was bowler hat. So, yeah, bowler in cricket takes overs, as in takes responsibility during an over for bowling. Um, but they wouldn't wear a bowler hat. Hmm, that seems very loosey-goosey. And then, of course, tawdry. Ah, the Reverend W. Audrey, I bet most of you knew this. Writer of the Thomas the Tank Engine books. All right. All right, well, um, I did enjoy it. I just... Yeah, and that Chalcedony, I think that's going to throw a lot of people. A rock that comes in many forms. All right, we'll take their word for it. Put your horns in, mate. And it draws, okay. Uh, Jeff Down Under is a regular commenter. Hadn't heard drawing one's horns, nor had he heard of Audrey. So we're... Uh, similar in that respect. All right, well, that was a lot of fun. Um, as I say, maybe just a few too many cryptic definitions without wordplay, but maybe that's good for a bank holiday. Anyway, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.